वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल के टी फ्रॉम के टी टूडे वी आर डाइविंग इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ सिंगल साइन ऑन एंड वी विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ की क्लोक नाउ एस एसओ इज अ वेरी पावरफुल ऑथेंटिकेशन मैकेनिज्म दैट अलाउज यूजर्स टू लॉग इन वंस एंड एक्सेस मल्टीपल एप्लीकेशन सीमलेसली टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एस एसओ इज यूजफुल इन रियल वर्ल्ड सिनारियोज आई विल टेक अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टू एप्लीकेशन वन इज अ कंपनी पोर्टल which would contain information uh, information regarding what is happening inside the company uh, basically displaying if any award is given to a user say or an employee or employee submitting something or any uh, information that is pub- displayed to all the employees and uh, what is the project or anything related to a company uh, dashboard or kind of a company internet inter- intranet portal the second example would be the employee dash employee portal now employee portal uh, will contain the inf- information about employees what is the task which needs to be completed by employee what is the training uh, courses etc and uh, com- if, through this employee portal customer can uh, sorry employee can apply leave applications as well now uh, if suppose you are uh, employed with xyz organization now uh, this has you has you can guess this portal also needs to be an authorized application only a person who has logged in into it can see the information and only those who uh, uh, information that information should be visible only the information particular to that employee should be visible to the in the employee portal so the name of the person who is logging in should be visible here the email of the person or the task of the person who has logged in should be visible here so all the information is authenticated information same goes to company dashboard everyone uh, on the net cannot uh, dis- get to know about the dashboard information or company's information it should also be authenticated a, cust- a employee needs to be logged in into it in order to see this this application so both the authentication is a necessary thing for both this application but uh, say for example a employee is logged in into this app already logged in and uh, wants to check a company dashboard as well he vis- he or she visits the company portal now if you are you are triggering that employee to log in again that will just uh, uh, give a user not give a uh, employee a seamless experience so uh, ideally if we think so if a person has if a employee has access to employee portal employee should have access to the company dashboard so that's where single sign on comes into picture so uh, what we can do is ki if a customer is logged in into any of the company so company has say multiple portals uh, some one is displaying leave applications one is uh, used to display the employee salary information one is used to give a company's uh, like media discussions and everything related to it now if uh, we are not uh, if we are triggering we are asking employee to log in again and again it will not give a seamless experience to them what we can do is we can just uh, use a single sign on application so if a com- if a person has logged in once in one of the applications uh, which whichever applications are bound by single sign on the other application will automatically be access- accessible by this uh, employee so that's where single sign on comes into picture and key clock offers us a very easy way to do it uh, we will i'll show uh, this is a simple application uh, the as you can see ui is not that great that's how not a uh, not a re- not a company dashboard would look much prettier than this uh, and even the employee portal as well but it's a simple react application and i'll give this demo using react application because it would be much easier for me to implement it do the work uh, relevant to it it's an easier way to do it. in real production environment there will be an api gateway microservice and, and that's how you will integrate in a better and more secure way and uh, in, uh, integrating with front end is not a, a secure way uh but for this demo purpose we are integrating with the react itself the key, key we will integrate key clock with react itself now coming on to key clock key clock is a very powerful open source identity and ex- and access management tool and uh, not only not only it's robust it provides various robust feature and used very widely among many applications even red hat uses uh, it as a one of the application is red hat and other applications as well uh, you can just go ahead and uh, you will be able to find many many of the applications or many of the companies who are vouching for key clock okay and uh, the community is also great yeah. and uh, it keeps on releasing all the importance or latest releases 23 version and it 
keeps on updating it with new and new features as well now moving on to the how you will basically do the setup of we'll start with the setting up key clock first for this i had already created a document when i was initially exploring key clock i'll link this and in this i have uh, did i have done a setup of 220.0.3 you can uh, follow this or you can simply download uh, the key clock and uh, any version you required and you just simply unzip it and go ahead and start by this command uh, in in the bin you will get kc.sh file and you can use start dev to start the key clock in a like a development mode that's what i have done here okay so first uh, we'll uh, let's start how to basically integrate these two applications with keyclock it's already integrated in this demo i'll show you the configurations of the same so i have started the keyclock now what i'll do is i'll just uh, configure a realm uh, just log in i am logging into keyclock this this i am doing using master once you log in once you uh, start a keyclock application you will get an admin page you will have to set up an admin user i have already done that hence i am able to directly log in using admin user and in the master realm that user will be there in the user section uh, i'll create a i had create i have created a new realm for this sso demo and you can further and in this there's a users tab where you can check out all the users so i have already created one user say uh, you can create a user by simply uh, filling all the de details in this form say tested that email the uh, check out that email is verified test user so this is one user which i'm creating and let's just uh, add a credential i'm just putting one two three four one two three four and temporary off okay say password okay. now that's what i've done now what i'll do is i'll show you how i have integrated company dashboard with keyclock i'll just show you about uh, how one application integrated you can further figure out for yourself how the second application can be integrated i'll attach the code base as well for you to experiment further okay uh, let's just start with company internet folder okay so uh, in this component tab there's a key cloak uh, for integrating uh, key cloak with uh, a react key cloak js library is used and from from that you can import key cloak and you can update the key cloak configuration similar to this you can configure the url and the client id in the secret id uh, i have created two clients for this uh, uh, sso demo you can check out that in client section uh, uh, this is company portal this is employee portal for every uh, if a person is coming via company portal the client id used will be company portal if the person is coming so say the customer has first logged in into employee portal and then moving on to this uh, company portal uh, this entire application will be identity identified by the client id company portal and employee portal will be identified by employee portal i'll further show you how that is done uh, uh, so as you can see in keyclock configuration you are mentioning the url this is the url of the keyclock where the keyclock is done and then the realm is sso demo the client id is company portal so this application is identified by the client id company portal and the client secret id is something that is mentioned here in the uh, just open this uh, company portal and uh, client authentication is on so you will you can further go and check out the client authentication i've switched off for this uh, application because only public uh, clients are accessible for react if you want to enable the authentication this is where you go and uh, uh, key clock configuration is uh, then set up here in this this similar way now uh, once the key clock configuration is set up you can use that uh, you have to configure your app js application and uh, you have to say your in, in your index js you have to basically use the react key clock provider which you can get from react uh, key clock web so in short in your package json you will use two libraries 
which will enable you to integrate Keycloak with React. React Keycloak Web uh, 3.4. I have used the version 3.4.0. You can use uh, other versions as well. Keycloak version Keycloak JS. I have used 21.00. Okay, so this should be compatible with the Keycloak which you are using. Uh, my Keycloak is 21, so I have used this. So these are the two major dependencies that would require that you would require to integrate Keycloak with React. Okay, so once you have integrated, you can basically go ahead and index in index.js. You can bound uh, bound that React Keycloak provider. You can give your provider to the entire application. So all uh, this entire application can access these two variables that is auth client and init option option etc. Okay, so it's saying you on load the login is must for this application. This is what uh, by this line uh, we are referring to. Okay, and in dash, you can authenticate your components as well. Uh, protect your component as well. This you can do is uh, in dashboard you can go. Uh, you can use the uh, object use Keycloak from React Keycloak Web, uh, the library you just installed. And in that you can say if Keycloak is authenticated, then show me the dashboard. Otherwise, tell me ki re redirect me to login. That is what this is doing. This entire page is doing. If Keycloak is authenticated, return me the dashboard information. And if it is not login, redirect me to the login page. And this this variable is doing. This function is doing this. So you can check out the details of this library as well uh, by going once you install it will be there in node modules. You can further go ahead and check out details of the library if you want to. Uh, majorly we don't integrate in uh, react uh, and we do it in the back end uh, to make it more secure in front end um, all the client ids are public and and uh, when we are integrated in the back end the the client id client credentials should be secure uh, will should be private and should have a secret key associated with it that's how security is maintained but here the focus is to give you uh, the sso demo that's the reason i'm not uh, uh, focusing on architecture part okay so uh, that's how to anyways that's how to your uh, one company portal you can check your company portals up at local host 30 so you have to configure this url as well in the valid redirect after the login which url you want to redirect to that is what by this line you meant ki, okay fine when the login is successful redirect me to localhost 33 the, the page where my dashboard is and you can you have to basically there might be some issues with the web origin so you have to specify the web origin as well okay that's it for one and the other client is employee portal same you have to same configuration is required for employee portal as well okay so the localhost and uh, employee portal is up at 3002 so i have done the same configuration here after, after the login from uh, when when i'm logging into the company portal just redirect me to 3002 application okay so now uh, and the same configuration is done in uh, employee portal as well uh, the in package.json you can see these two libraries which is uh, reactor keycloak web and keycloak js is there okay for uh, keycloak uh, integration and in index.js this is pro uh, the entire app is protected and it's saying key login is must for this and uh, the provider has auth client and init options which will be used by further comp further uh, child component of app application uh, in employee portal also you can further go ahead and check uh, this uh, yeah, this use keycloak is used to basically say ki, okay if uh, my keycloak is uh, authorized then only display the information of various components of employee portal that's how this entire application is configured i will attach the code base so that you can further experiment with uh, the sso feature of keycloak moving on to uh, seeing the magic okay <laughs> let's see the magic what I'll do is I'll log out uh, from one application. So I have logged in and see, see the magic automatically from when I have logged down from employee portal, automatically from company portal, uh, I am redirected to the login page because React is uh, uh, okay. Refreshing the component, that's the reason this happens. Now let's log in. Okay, uh, one user which I had created was uh, test, right? So test and let's log in with one, two, three, four. Once I log in, this company dashboard is visible. And now if I want to uh, 
check uh, local host uh, 30 that is um, i am logged in into company portal so i need to check my employee detail as well for test user what i can do is simply visit the employee dashboard link voila we are we, we do not need to log in and we can check out uh, my my name test is also visible here so if i log in using abc user abc will be there and this is done by using uh, let me show you that command also in the keycloak token itself in employee portal.jsx as you can see i'm setting the if keycloak is authenticated and initialized i'm setting okay, okay set in the i'm taking from token so whenever you log in from keycloak a token is being generated that token contains the information about uh, your uh, uh, details about your user and uh, that from that token i am uh, deriving the preferred username okay and you can check out that this is displayed here here itself as well there are login apis and uh, validate token api as well you can further check out those apis and uh, token as well and uh, you can change the details in the token as well you can expose certain parameters uh, remove certain parameters so that is out of scope of this kt but uh, you can do several things with uh, keycloak now you can move on to the sessions part of it as well in sso demo you can see uh, there is a test user uh, logged in using two clients so as you can see test user is logged in into company portal as well and employee portal as well so if i try to log it log out from here as you can see it's logged out right and if i try to log in again great right it's it's like i love doing it again and again okay see now check out the sessions voila voila right so isn't this wonderful future which keycloak offers and it will make your life much easier you don't have to integrate various things all the tokens will be managed here you can go ahead and inspect it uh I'll show you that as well. In Inspector, you can further go ahead and check out all the token details as well, the cookie section, the session details as well. And in 8080, you can see all the key clock identity, session, etc. Everything is there. Okay. So it's a pretty great feature, right? And uh, there are other features. So this is just a uh, starting point of Keycloak. There are RBAC features offered. You can basically, if there are routes in your uh, entire portal, you can protect that routes as well, protect those APIs as well, depending on the role of the customer. I'll come up with another video uh, displaying the RBAC features of Keycloak. Now focus behind these features, are uh, behind these videos, I want to basically let you know make you understand when to use keycloak for uh, browser based integration keycloak is one of the best uh, uh, iem tool available out there and uh, the features it it offers is very uh, very uh, very many uh, many very rich features are basically offered by keycloak and you can further explore this and also contribute to this beautiful open source i'll be key, i'll be adding on videos on how you can contribute this this video this keycloak this beauty and also i'll be adding a video on our back as well stay tuned to my channel katie from katie